Hello, it is Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday crossword, which means we're going to be solving what should be another relatively gentle, approachable, themed puzzle. Hopefully that's what we're in store for today. And this, hopefully, uh, gentle themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Aaron Spiller, over full hitbox, Jake Rodkin, and of course, as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are sustaining this channel, they are keeping this channel going, and I really do appreciate that, and I appreciate of course, the efforts of everybody who's a patron of the campaign. Uh, if you'd like to become a contributor yourself in that way, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. Thank you again to everybody who is a patron. It really does mean a lot to me. And thank you, of course, if you've subscribed to the channel on YouTube. That is a big help. So thanks to everybody who's done that. Please consider doing so if you've been enjoying these videos. And finally, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. There's a link in the description field uh, as well to that friendly chat community. So let's get on to today's crossword. It is a Tuesday puzzle, so a themed, relatively approachable crossword by Alan Siegel, whose second crossword for the Times, I believe this is. It was edited, of course, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, see what's in store. Island group that straddles the international date line. Actually, not sure. I mean, it might be something like Tonga, but I, I'm not sure. So trash hauling boat, a scow. Look at this one. Exchanged rings say wed. Okay, so this probably is a scow. Uh, what about these other crosses? That's blank. Not so. That's a lie, you might say. We'll see if these all work. Foundry receptacle. Um, so receptacle at a foundry. A metal foundry, I assume this is. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. A mo oh, a mold. You pour you pour the, the molten uh, metal into a mold, perhaps. And a barn hooter, an owl, is it a barn owl? Oh, Samoa is the is the, is the is the island group that straddles the international date line. That makes sense. Okay, there we go. So Pacific Pacific Island uh, group, of course. Stinging sea creature that offers protection to fourteen across an anemone. I would think, but let's look at this. Orange and white, oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe this isn't right. Orange and white striped swimmers that lure prey to five down. Oh, clownfish. For some reason, I read this as though the second word started with N, and I was thinking, oh, well, it couldn't be clown knit fish. I don't know. <laughs> it must be tired today. Uh, it's simply clownfish, presumably. I didn't actually know this fact, but but that's interesting. Okay, barely there. Faint, maybe? I was in a, a mark on a paper. It's barely there. It's faint. And drilling deals are oil leases. You could have an oil, uh, you could lease a sort of oil field or something like that. Some of these are compact. Compact. Uh, I don't know, fists. I don't know why that would be the case. Put To put something into practice is to use it. Very, very is oh so whatever it is, certain way. And a performing pair is a duo of performers. Some of these are compact discs, compact discs, of course, there we go. Uh, the increasingly obsolete music storage medium, uh, or audio of any sort, I suppose, or data of any sort, I guess. Uh, audio device that's tap, 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 a mic, a microphone, you might tap it to test to see if the amplifier is working. Figures advised by consigliaries. So Don's maybe in a sort of Mafia family, something like that. Uh, you know, as depicted in The Godfather. Um, for instance, noisy clattering. Well, we could cross dons with din. A noisy a commotion, a din. It's done in the short run. A sprint is literally a short run. So there we go. We have a slight pun there. To inhale as dinner is to scarf it, maybe? To eat it incredibly quickly? Let's see if that works with the crosses. Knighted act actor Michael. Must be Michael Caine. Um, Sir Michael Caine, I suppose. And part of a meteor in the sky. Oh, sorry, path of a meteor in the sky. Sorry, I misread that. Would be the arc. So the arc is the curved path the meteor can be observed to take in the sky. 
Okay, I suppose it appears to be curved from our perspective. Um, apple tool is a pairer. You could pair an apple's skin with a, a pairer, a pairing tool. And moray's habitat, so the moray eel, uh, would live in a reef. And Houston School, uh, I've heard of rice, so rice university must be the answer. And nocturnal flyer that disperses seeds of a 40 down. Right, okay, so here we have sort of animal, I don't know, um, these are kind of symbiotic relationships, I guess, is what's going on here. So what is this one? And then down we have ficus that produces, well, I guess they're not necessarily animals, but symbiotic relationships of organisms. Ficus that produces sweets favored by a 44 across. I don't know. These are interesting facts, though. Um, so, and I think there must be the theme. So Rubik's toys, Rubik's cubes. Rub was Ernst Rubik, the Hungarian inventor of the Rubik's Cube? I think that's his name. Erno, maybe it's Erno. Anyway, had the ability. If someone had the ability to do something, one could do it. And certain soda pop is a cola, maybe? So the category of soda that um, you know Coke and Pepsi are. Let's see if that works. Big beer buy, a case of beer, I suppose. And arm wrestler's bone of contention, the ulna. Uh, let's see. Poke fun at, to taunt somebody is to poke fun at them. Oh, fruit bat is the must be the answer here. So the fruit bat is the nocturnal flyer, and it disperses seeds of whatever sort of tree this is, I assume, ficus. It's not the linden tree. That doesn't fit. Uh, what about this? Toll collectors of folklores. Trolls are said in folklore to co collect tolls at a bridge. And a problem for a motorist or stylist. A, a curve or a... Uh, hmm, what am I thinking of here? Some Something to do with oil? I don't, I don't know. Don't quite see it. Uh, photographer Adams, Ansel Adams, the famous photographer, who was referenced in the puzzle just the other day, I think. And future attorney's hurdle. This is, I think, maybe becoming the official standardized test of the New York Times crossword. The LSAT, the Law School Achievement Test. The A and AD is Anno, Anno Domini, um, as, as opposed to BC in, in uh, um, uh, you know, year dating, calendar year dating. Uh, milk sugar is lactose, and toss out a line and lure to cast, maybe a fishing line, I would think that is. And then absolutely in slang would be totes for totally. So what is this? A, oh, oh, I, oh, I misspelled reef in Moray's habitat. No wonder this wasn't, well, no wonder it was less obvious anyway. So uh, real should have been reef. I don't know why I put that there. So this is a fig tree. There we go. And that sounds right that fruit bats would disperse seeds of a fig tree. Okay, there we go. Um, there we go. Okay, good. I'm not saying I would have necessarily known that if you just asked me on the street, but it's certainly much more obvious when you don't <laughs> misspell the crosses. So do we have a... Oh, snarl. A problem for a motorist or a style of snarl. So I guess in the context of motoring, this refers to a sort of traffic pileup, maybe a sort of... Not a pileup, but a um, you know a bit of a traffic jam, a snarl. And then you can have a snarl in your hair. All right, keep, com keep Commerce Human website. I don't know this slogan, but it sounds like maybe Etsy because that deals with homemade goods ostensibly. And then absolutely is yes or yep, maybe. Cats, and we had, we had um, totes in there for absolutely as well. Uh, anyway, here we have cat's eye, which is a phrase used to describe various things like I don't know, they're sunglasses, for instance, right? Or, or eyeglasses in general, I suppose. And other thing, I think um, certain... Uh, oh, what do you call the... What do you call those little spherical... This is ridiculous that I can't think of what those are called. Um, well, I don't know, I'm going completely blank. Anyway, absolutely is yes. And lifeline locales... Uh, hands, as in sort of reading your lifelines, is that what I'm thinking of? I'm not sure. Optical device with segmented mirrors. 
and mutually beneficial. I write it as symbiotic. Mutually beneficial or a hint to three pairs of crossing answers in this puzzle. So these organisms indeed do have symbiotic relationships. So they, they're mutually beneficial to one another. As opposed to, say, a parasitic relationship where it's only really helpful in one direction. Lifeline locales. Oh, palms. The palm of your hand. Right. Okay. So it's on the right track. And then Brazilian named athlete of the century by the International Olympic Committee must be the great footballer Pele. Uh, a lister is a celeb, a celebrity. And if you're on, you could be on all fours, so on your hands and knees. Encloses with bricks, e.g., walls in. All right, and one of many in a dictionary's thumb index. Uh, I assume this is the, the, sort of those little the kind of marked indented letters that showed sections of a, of a dictionary, but I could be wrong about that. That's what I'm guessing. Doves call a coup. And this looks like telescope. Yes, optical, de optical device with segmented mirrors. Indeed, must be a telescope. And then big name in applesauce. So is it Mott's, the brand that produces applesauce? I think, I think it must be. And then host of an annual NYC gala with the the Met Gala is a famous um, you know, showcase of high fashion, I suppose. And then grand in scale is epic, so an epic event. So a notch, right? Okay, so yes, I think I was on the right track with a dictionary's thumb index. I don't think I knew the name of that, but it seemed like that must plausibly be what it is. And they're they're not just cut into. The pages of a dictionary. So, PC crash fix, fixer could be a tech. Maybe it, you know, an employee, a tech from your company will come fix it. I don't know. And then laser pointer or yarn ball maybe is a cat toy. There we go. They do famously love both of those things. Or I don't know if they love them or if they're just compelled by them. But in any case, sorry, too busy. I can't. I guess you could say horned grazer that provides. Might oh right here's another one of these. Okay, horned grazer that provides might meals to a twenty-eight across, and twenty-eight across in turn says hitchhiker whose warning cries help a thirty-one down avoid poach poachers. Right, interesting. Some kind of tick or something? I don't know. Uh ooh, tell us everything. Do say or something like that. Uh, dos uh, <laughs> times cuatro, I, I guess. So two times four is eight. So ocho in Spanish. There we go. And when the clue is written in another language, that generally means, or even even when part of it is written in another language, it usually means the answer will be as well. But not but not always. It depends how much of the clue is written in, in, in another language. Ooh, tell us everything. All right, deuce, is it deuce? A is for apple. Okay, that sounds plausibly correct. And then informal shall we. So the informal version would be wanna, want to, but contracted. And then feasted is eight. Oh, a rhino is the horned grazer. Here we go. Oh, is something bird, I guess, is the hitchhiker. So ooh, tell us everything. Do say it is do say. Okay, so then, uh, but I don't know what kind of bird this is. That's very interesting, though. And then an inactive pill, maybe a placebo. So I think usually just sort of a sugar pill used in, a, in, a, in an experiment to test the efficacy of a, of a real medication. And then, or to, you know, to compare results, Disney's futuristic theme park, Epcot in Walt well, Disney World. I've never been there, but I know of Epcot, certainly. And payment sans, uh, sans I guess, without uh, ink and paper. E-check, an E-check, I guess, because a regular check, a sort of physical check, you would, would use you'd ink onto it, a piece of paper. Uh, so I guess E-check, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I guess an E-check, I guess doing that online is different enough to mailing a, a piece of paper that I suppose it, I suppose it can justify the E-prefix, the, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't, I, I don't encounter the term e-check very often, so maybe I don't approve of it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll get sidetracked into that. Spice in pumpkin spice. Clove is a common 
spice in that blend, I think. And end piece, a coda, the end of a, oh, and so as in piece of music. So the, the ending bit at a piece of music could be its coda. And then over easy as in the eggs preparation, perhaps, um, you know, fried eggs over easy. And then hell is Hades in Greek myth. And then midterm, e.g., is could be a test in school. And coal carrier could be an ore cart in a mine. If one was in a rush, one raced. And king, is it king beater? Oh, king beater, as in, in card games, would be an ace. There we go. So higher card than the king. And then the hitchhiker, it looks like, it looks like the tick bird. Right, so it's funny. I thought it might be some kind of tick. I don't think it is, but it's a bird maybe named for a tick. And then here we have Tenerife, por ejemplo, so uh, an island, so an is isla. And then I think that's it. I think we've checked all the crosses. Yeah, all right. So that was the Tuesday crossword. Um, I would say maybe a little bit of a step up in difficulty from yesterday. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that one. Um, a nice theme, a nice educational theme. We've, we've learned something today. We've learned about a series of symbiotic relationships between various organisms. So we had our clownfish, which uh, lures prey to the anemone, which in turn offers protection to the clownfish. We have, uh, where the, what were the others? We had the fruit bat, which disperses seeds of a fig tree, which produces the sweets favored by the fruit bat. And we finally have the tick bird, the hitchhiker whose warning cries help a rhino avoid poachers, which in turn provides mite meals to the tick bird. Ah, right. So that's why it's called tick bird. I didn't really properly think about this. So of course the tick wasn't the thing that is the animal we're looking at, but it is involved in this symbiotic relationship in a, in a way. We have little mites on the rhino. And there we have it. Those are our three symbiotic relationships in a very interesting and educational Tuesday crossword by Alan Siegel. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. And I should be back tomorrow for the Wednesday crossword. So uh, join me for that uh, midweek, mid-difficulty themed crossword. Shouldn't be too tricky, but maybe a bit of a step up in difficulty from this. So let's find out tomorrow. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.